All right, continuing our discussion on slope intercept form and particularly slope in this problem, uh, we're given a picture and then we're asked to find the slope of the line. Um, and I wanted to go over uh, a couple different methods with you here. And I wrote some notes over here and they're on your note packet also. Um, that sometimes, you know, his, here's our straight formula for slope. Then here is kind of a, a less informal thought, you know, hey, I subtract the y's over subtract the x's. This is a little more formal, formal language with a Greek letter delta, and it means change. So we say m equals delta y over delta x, or the change in y over the change in x. And then um, we have a kind of less formal here and, a, and, you know, just kind of written in the language, uh, the English language, vertical change over horizontal change. So vertical change over horizontal change. Okay. So what we could do when we ha are given a picture like this is we could just count what the slope is from the picture. And I'm going to show you the counting method if we have the picture. And then we'll look at the formula method and see if they match up. So the counting method, you can pick either A or B as your starting point. And I'm going to show you both of them. If I start at A here, and I, I think about, okay, what happens to get to B here? Well, I go down one, two, so down two, down two, which is equal to negative two. That's my vertical change, all right? And then from there, I go over one, two, three. So I went down two over three, All right? So that was right three. And what I got is negative two thirds. That's the slope, okay? Now, if another student said, well, that's not what I did. I started at B and went from B to A, I go up one, two. Well, let's see, up two, all right, so the vertical change is two. And then I went back or to the left. Let's see, one, two, three. So I get up and left and I get two over negative three, but we've talked about many times to bet best to put your negative up top and you get negative two thirds. So you see, you get a matching slope, no matter whether you start counting it at A or start counting it at B. Right, but you have to start at one of the points on the line, right? Now, another student might have said, well, I, I didn't really understand the counting method. What I did was I, I figured this point was 3, 1, and this point was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, 6, negative 1, and then I used the formula method, okay? So the formula method is subtract the y's, so negative 1, minus one, six minus three, I get negative two over three. So you can see it works with the formula method or the counting method, right? Hopefully that helps a bit with slope, um, you know, negative slope here going this way, positive slopes go this way, All right? Thank you.